Hello, everyone who has joined. So we're so excited to have you here today. We're just going to wait another minute or two before we get started. If you want to introduce yourself in the chat, let us know your name and where you're from, and maybe one thing you're excited about learning today. So we'll get started at about two minutes past the hour. Where is everyone tuning in from? Hi, by the way, my name is Mia. Um, where's everyone tuning in from? I'm super curious. Okay, Tennessee, I see you. I've never been to Tennessee before, um, but my parents and my sister used to go all the time. So that's one place that I haven't been yet. New Jersey and Denver. I will say as well, just a quick housekeeping piece. If you share in the chat, there's the option to send to everyone or to host and panelists. Make sure that you change that toggle to everyone so that everyone can see your questions as we're running through today's webinar. All right, Kentucky and California too. I'm up here in Canada. So we got all of North America covered, it's looking like. Oh, we have someone from Finland as well, hello. Oh, I saw Chicago. I used to live in Chicago for like three years. I'm in Orlando currently, but I lived out there for like three years. I love Chicago, but I could not stand the cold weather anymore. I was like, I need, I need some sun. <laughs> awesome. Well, hello everyone. We're at about two minutes past the hour. So let's kick off our event and get started. My name is Tila. I'm going to be your host today and welcome to elevating your customer experience with Gorgeous and Stamp. So a little bit of housekeeping before we hop in. We're gonna be about 30 minutes together today and we're gonna go through a little bit about the Gorgeous and Stamp integration. You can learn more about each company and then learn a little bit about those customer experience trends and how you're gonna turn your help desk into a profit center. Um, there is the chat function here and my wonderful colleague Annette is here to be helping out in the chat. Annette is our partner manager at Stamped and has fantastic resources available. So ask away and we will have a Q&A at the end of our time together to make sure that everything gets addressed. Anything that we don't get to, we will share in the follow-up email and we will also be including the recording in the follow-up email. So a little bit about me, I'm the community lead here at Stamped. And as I already mentioned, my partner Annette, or my partner, my partner manager Annette is here as well. <laughs> Um, and Stamped is the host today, and this is the Stamped Community Webinar Series. So we're really aiming to create an opportunity for entrepreneurs and brand owners, marketers to really learn about e-commerce and what the best practices are. We know that it can be a little bit challenging to know what are your competitors up to, what are other people doing? So we want to kind of demystify and break some of that down for you so that you can really do the best that you can possibly do in this space. And Stamp themselves, we are a reviews and a loyalty platform for e-commerce, helping you to establish brand credibility by building trust and giving your customers a voice. So we have two products. We have a review product, and that is the ability to showcase and to collect really high quality product and site reviews. So written reviews, photo reviews, video reviews that you can embed on your website and in your marketing materials to really increase social proof. And then we also have a loyalty product and loyalty is being able to create a points program, a rewards program to have VIPs and to even do referral as well. So everything kind of brand credibility in one space and a channel that we're really focusing on this year is integrations. So that's making sure that our product works really well with your entire tech stack, including amazing partners like Gorgeous. And so with that, let me introduce our special guest today. Um, we have Mia here and Mia is the tech partner at Gorgeous where she collaborates with our partners to develop joint business strategies, to strengthen our better together relationships and to produce really innovative partnership playbooks. Um, Gorgeous has some amazing stamped and gorgeous documentation on their support center that Mia had a hand in. And when Mia isn't working, you'll usually find her at home with her wife, reading a good book and drinking a cup of blueberry tea. Uh, Mia, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you so much, Sheila. What a lovely introduction. Thank you. Yes, hello, everyone. My name is Mia, partner manager over here at Gorgeous. So excited to be diving into a little bit about our Gorgeous and Stamped Better Together story and share some more information about Gorgeous and how you can turn your customer support center into a profit center. So 
Today, I'll be sharing with you some next level tips on how you can have a major impact on the customer journey through the lens of exceptional customer service and how you'll be increasing customer satisfaction score, retention, revenue, all that good stuff. So starting off with just a quick intro of Gorgeous, we're the number one rated help desk for direct-to-consumer brands because we were built for D2C brands. Simple as that. We're currently servicing over 9,000 merchants of all shapes, sizes, and industries. You can see some of our amazing customers here, such as Steve Madden, Decathlon, Netflix, to name a few. So to kick things off, let's set the stage and discuss what brands should not be doing if they want to increase retention and have happy customers, which we all want. So let's be real, we're all consumers. And when we reach out to a brand with a question, we not only want a fast response, but we want a response that caters to us, that shows us that a brand cares, especially if our inquiry is time sensitive. However, that's unfortunately not the normal with a lot of direct-to-consumer brands because customer service has historically never been looked at as a way to increase profits, which I'll soon be sharing with you is so not the case. And you can definitely turn your support center into a mega profit center. So starting off with some metrics here, the average first response time or time it takes for a brand to just reply to you is 12 hours. But to actually solve your problem, yeah, that's 17 hours, which is not going to cut it. I mean, like imagine you ordered this super expensive, meaningful gift for your significant other because they've been wanting it so bad for the last several years. It finally gets delivered. You're so excited. You open up the box and it's broken. Like 17 hours is just not going to cut it to get this issue resolved. And there's a really good chance that that customer won't order from you again because they're angry and upset. Taking this one step further, there's such a lack of personalization. Consumers feel like a ticket and don't feel like they're genuinely connecting with a brand. And you know, it's not uncommon for a customer to message in through chat one day and Instagram DM another. A good brand should know that those questions and communication is coming from the same person. Gorgeous's entire mission is to make exceptional customer service the new normal across the entire customer life cycle. That's our mission because of this number. 78% of consumers would take their business to a competitor within a week due to poor customer service. Like imagine how this affects the customer journey. You want happy customers, you wanna be retaining them. And we'll get into what exceptional customer service looks like through this chart. So let's take a look here. Most direct to consumer brands fall between level two and level three support. So not awful. But our mission is to change that, to make sure you, the viewer, the brands are achieving that level five support. It is sub 10 minute first response times, compare that to the average of 12 hours, less than 30 minute resolution times versus 17 hours, omni-channel customer service. It is like the chef's kiss, cream of the crop, exceptional service that converts more customers and keeps your customers coming back. Some of those major impact drivers here are, you know, they're, they have a high number of uh, automation. So around 30% of their support volume is automated. They're on a high number of channels. So they're present on Instagram, Facebook, email, SMS, chat, and also they have a high number of integrations. So their team is able to work more efficiently all in one place because all of their tools and their tech stack is in one single help desk. So getting into the real juicy stuff now, some bite-sized tips. Starting off with tip number one, be everywhere your customers are. So this is a typical breakdown of what our gorgeous customers are seeing. On the left, it's showing how consumers interact with brands. And on the right is the intent of those messages. And this is all based on machine learning. What's interesting on the interaction side of things is we can see that email still predominantly takes over, of course. Chat is growing currently at 10%. And although SMS and social is the lowest, it's actually the fastest growing category. It's so important to be present in as many channels as possible, interacting with people there and driving them back to your website because consumers now expect to be able to interact and have access to you on social media pre and post purchase. 
So within Gorgeous, you're able to see what channels your customers are messaging in from because this is critical. Like I mentioned earlier, it is not uncommon for consumers to write in through email on Monday, Instagram DM on Wednesday, Facebook Messenger on Friday. You have to be where your customers are. And don't get me wrong, this can seem really intimidating to implement all of these new channels into your omni-channel service strategy, but Gorgeous makes that really easy by having deep and native integrations with Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, SMS, chat, et cetera. You can add all of these new channels into your help desk seamlessly and have control over all of that communication coming in all within Gorgeous. Social media is a huge channel for driving revenue, but it can, it can be difficult to shuffle through all of those notifications. So Gorgeous really helps you prioritize comments and DMs by leveraging machine learning and what we call rules to help you organize them as either negative sentiment or positive. Rules are a great way to manage and automate your support volume as a whole. So here's an example of a rule that you can set. If the messaging channel is Instagram comments and the sentiment of that message is positive, then it'll actually be automatically tagged as a social lead opportunity so agents can interact quickly. If someone leaves a nice comment and tags their friend and they're like, oh my gosh, this is so cute, like I love this, you want to hop on that opportunity. You want to reply quickly, give them a little discount, make them happy. There is a big opportunity in doing this. On the SMS side of things, take a look at our customer, Olipop, who implemented two-way SMS into their CS strategy. They saw a 13x increase in sales via support. Our merchants are really out here turning support agents into sales agents because the revenue they're driving is next level. And it's really important to note here that when you have SMS as a channel, you know, you're not doing like a, a spray and pray SMS blast. No, you're creating a two-way conversation between you and the customer. So when you have that dialogue flowing, like, I mean, think of all of the unread emails you have. I know it's a horror to think, <laughs> but think of all of the unread texts you have. Most of us don't have any, right? Um, we're always on our phone, you know, checking our text, checking Instagram, you know, on TikTok. So as a brand, when you're creating these conversations through SMS and using that as a support channel, it just creates a whole other level of trust between you and the consumer. Now, speed and automation are Gorgeous's two favorite words, but personalization is the secret sauce. And that, my friends, is where pre-purchase proactive chat campaigns enter the conversation. So taking a look back at our chart here, let's dial in on those pre-sale messages. 33% of consumers messaging in have legitimate intent to make a purchase. 33%, that is so much. Like personally, I'm never going to take time to message a brand if I'm not seriously considering buying something. So this is key information that there's massive opportunity for a support platform to get in the customer journey early on and drive them into making a purchase. Here's an example of how you can make that happen. You could have a little chat widget on your website with a picture of a support agent saying, hey, just letting you know I'm here to help if you have any questions with our products. This is a major conversion tool and will have a huge impact on the customer journey. Also, just imagine how happy they're going to be for such a personalized experience. And here we have um, customer OG skincare. So they do a great job of leveraging chat for pre-purchase inquiries. They have a massive product selection and many people don't know what product works well on their skin and they really can't try it on remotely. So having a proactive chat is highly effective to help customers make decisions and have the customer ask questions about color selection, for example. Like for all of our makeup wearing guests today, I'm sure you can all relate to the absolute struggle that is trying to shop online for foundation, concealer, like any type of makeup. So it is literally the best feeling ever when there's a chat icon and a real agent helping me so I can send pictures of my skin in natural light, tell them my undertones, like I have oilier skin, is this product even good for me? And it's customer service like that, that provides the ultimate customer experience that keeps your customers happy and coming back to you. So going back to OG skincare, you can really see this in practice here. So this is a real conversation from someone around Christmas and they're messaging in saying they have more mature skin, they're having some issues picking the right color. And then someone on the brand side responds, suggesting a specific product. And then three minutes later, the customer purchased over $200 worth of product. 
So by proactively prompting the customer to engage with you, you're going to convert more customers and get those sales. And this is another great example of chat in action from our customer Brewmate. They're constantly experimenting with new chat campaigns and seeing upwards of 20% conversion rate, resulting in over $60,000 generated from their chat campaigns between November and February. So like I said before, y'all, customer support can be your next big profit center. And our customers are proving that to be correct every day. And this is also a really great marketing growth hack. You know, you can experiment with so many different chat campaigns. You know, you can share information about a new product. Let them know about a new promotion that you're doing. Are you giving away a free gift with a product? Like the possibilities are endless and you want to capture those customers either the minute they land on your site or you can have it engage with certain pages. Like let's say, for example, you have a sale going on for only specific products. We'll have the chat pop up when they land on that specific product. Like there's just so many different campaigns you can play around with and experiment to see what works best for your brand and for your customers. And the last tip, everyone, is a massive one. Giving power to consumers to get their own answers. So let's hone in on all of those post-purchase inquiries in our chart here regarding shipping status, returns, cancellations that could all be automated. Because keep in mind that number we referenced in the beginning, 78% of consumers will take their business elsewhere due to poor customer experiences. So solving these issues fast and efficiently is key. And so here is how we're doing that. So how do we mitigate some of that simpler support volume like where's my order? The solution is to just remove it altogether. A gorgeous we're deflecting 30 to 40% of support volume by providing customers with self-serve widget options. So let's put our consumer caps on and answer this for me in the chat. How many of y'all would so much rather be able to get information about your order yourself rather than waiting hours, upwards of 12 hours from what we saw before to get an email back from a support agent? Like, hi, I'm raising two hands. I can't raise my hand high enough because as consumers, we want information fast. So let's give power back to the consumers so they can find the answers that they're looking for. And there's really no better way to do that than self-serve chat. It is simply the best. Consumers can track their order, initiate a return and cancellation all on their own. And here's just another example of what that self-serve widget looks like. We're really removing frictions by empowering consumers. And another important thing to note here is I'm sure we can all relate, like have you guys ever had just an awful experience with a chat bot before? And the reason why we have some of those awful experiences is because it'll be an automated robot that's trying to mimic a human. And it's like, you know, they're not real, you know, it's automated, but the brand is trying really hard to make it feel real. Yeah, some of those experiences just aren't great. So the key thing here for self-serve chat is we're making it very clear that this is an automated track for the customer to find their own answers. There are blocks of where they can take action between tracking their order, where they would type in their order number and email and really be able to see the full delivery history or returning or canceling an order. So that's something that's also really key to know. You know, with self-serve, you're not trying to mimic a human experience. You're providing just another route of option for customers to find their own answers. And if none of those tracks fit their needs of what they're looking for, they can instantly start a conversation with a real support agent. And here's another cool take on self-serve from our customer Brewmate. Not only can you have self-serve chat, but you can also have a help center that houses all of those frequently asked questions. So something cool that Brewmate will be doing is they're adding a QR code on their product packaging that will invite new customers to their gorgeous help center. And what will those customers see when they land on that help center page? information on how they can level up with Brewmate by joining their VIP customer program. Like, come on, that is genius. I love this idea so much. And to really give you some real life proof that it is possible to achieve level five customer support for your brand, here we have an example from customer Boxu. They're a gourmet Japanese snack subscription box. So yummy and highly recommend checking them out. They're a bootstrap startup experiencing 10x growth over the last couple of years. 
that's a lot. <laughs> and as a result, they were really struggling to keep up with support volume. So this led to a huge increase in tickets. However, by switching to Gorgeous, they've been able to slash their first response time in half with a 50% decrease and a whopping 82% decrease in resolution time. So you know what that means? Their customers are really happy because they're full of some yummy snacks and are getting a best in class customer experience. So I knew we kind of like flew through things a little bit, but I really wanted to have time to open up to the floor for uh, questions and conversation and to chat a little bit if anyone has questions about the stamped and gorgeous integration. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed my session today. I had an amazing time presenting to you all. And as a thank you for tuning in on behalf of Gorgeous, um, if you haven't tried Gorgeous before, we are presenting an offer for two months free of Gorgeous. So feel free to shoot me an email at mia.boback at gorgeous.com and we'll get you all set up. And with that said, here we have some contact links for the stamped team and we'll open it up to the floor for questions. Awesome. Thanks, Mia. That was such a fantastic presentation. I feel like I learned so much. I love the emphasis that Gorgeous puts on balancing automation with personalization. That's so key when you're trying to scale is that you want to be able to build those efficient processes without losing those important relationships and connections that you've built with your community. Yeah, a hundred percent. And it's, it's so important to have that balance. Like you can't have one or the, one without the other, because if you're, you know, automating every single message, it's like, okay, you're just a robot at this point. Like humans want to connect with other people. Like as consumers, we want to connect with, you know, other people who uh, relate to us. We, as consumers, we want to feel valued by our brands that we're working with and feel supported. But on the on the flip side if you're personalizing every single message it's like there's so much lost efficiency there like all of that post purchase volume can be automated so you can personalize more of those pre purchase opportunities yeah awesome so a couple questions rolling through in the chat mm -hmm. uh question from lori how can we get further insights regarding creating some of the more customized visitor chats so for example product specific etc yeah, definitely. So a couple different ways we can go about this. So if you are curious to learn more about some of those additional chat campaigns on the gorgeous website, and I can actually link this below, um, we have some really great case studies that go into more details um, about different like chat campaigns. We also have really great resources on our blog as well that go over, you know, different campaigns that you can use or different pre purchase opportunities. So I just sent in the chat our different customer case studies. And I will also link in the chat our blog, which we have a live chat article, um, many live chat articles in our blog that go over different campaigns that you can do. Awesome, thanks Mia. Another thing to keep in mind too, when we're thinking about how you can automate with Gorgeous and the Stamped and Gorgeous automation specifically is that you can set up a flow that will happen when you have someone leave a negative or a good review. So you can reach out and have someone actually manage that right away. I think when someone leaves a, a poor review for a product, it's really an opportunity for you to kind of turn the experience around and delight them. And so being able to quickly respond to that by creating a ticket automatically and having something go out right away will help you tackle that really well. And then the other thing the integration can do for you is it will integrate with the gorgeous help desk. It'll push all of the reviews that a customer has left. So you could see if you're responding to a ticket, if you have a, a live agent, a real human instead of the, the chat bot responding to the ticket, they'll be able to read all of the reviews so they could see, okay, is this person experiencing the same problem in multiple products or are they generally a fan and this is just something else that we're managing. So it gives you a little bit of that added layer of insight. Yeah, agreed. Our our integration is really powerful also in the sense of agent efficiency. So like Tila kind of mentioned is you can, um, automatically assign those new uh, review tickets that come into Gorgeous to different agents. So like, let's say, for example, you have a support agent that like strictly manages reviews, chat, and SMS. So you can create that automated workflow within Gorgeous um, for any, you know, three star and below review that comes in, automatically assign that to Jill. Um, so yeah, it's aside from, of course, providing a really fast and powerful experience for customers, you're also, you know, creating a really seamless experience for your support agents as well. Happy agents people, happy customers. Very true. All right, we got a few more questions. Um, how to migrate from intercom? So how does migration work if you're if you're new with Gorgeous? 
Yeah, definitely. So we have some really wonderful um, onboarding and activation specialists that help take care and do a lot of hand holding for all of that on onboarding. Whenever I'm talking to merchants, that's always the number one pain point that comes up and that we've heard um, frequently is like, okay, I've been with my provider for like two plus years now. I'm really interested in gorgeous, but that seems like a heavy lift onboarding and migrating. And the truth is we know how painful that feels to have to migrate all of that data over. So we offer a lot of different tools to help out with that between, you know, help desk migration is a really great tool that we partner with to help migrate all of that data over to Gorgeous. Um, we also do like contract buyouts, for example. We don't believe in sticky contracts. If you're stuck in one, we'll help you out by buying out that contract as well. And we also do a lot of really wonderful onboarding courses to help make sure that your getting you know the most use out of gorgeous from day one i can second that the onboarding courses and the video resources and the documentation for gorgeous are amazing um, i will say that you are practicing what you preach on that side mia thank you <laughs> yes. perfect all right so another question is do you only integrate with shopify i can answer for stamped first so stamped integrates with all of the major e-commerce platforms so wherever you are running your store, we can integrate with you uh, and Mia. Yeah, so we have um, a strong integration with Shopify, Shopify Plus, of course, but if you are on Big Commerce or Magento, um, we do also have an integration with those e-commerce platforms as well. If you're not using one of those platforms, you still can use Gorgeous. You just wouldn't get the full benefits of the data being plugged in from your e-commerce platform. Um, but yeah, so I would say if you wanted all of that data, the main three platforms we service are Shopify, Big Commerce, and Magento. Awesome. And I see another question in the chat. We have someone who's already using the stamped and gorgeous integration, but is not sure that they're getting the best user friendly version of it. How can I be sure I've fully integrated the app? I'd be happy to help you out with that after the call. So if you want to reply to the invite that I sent you um, or even the confirmation email directly from Zoom, that will forward to me and I will get you in touch with the right people to make sure that everything is set up, running optimally and making your time more efficient. Yep, and same thing right. on the gorgeous side as well. Our support team is really dedicated to make sure that you're getting an amazing experience. So that's why we work so closely with partners like Stamp to make sure if you're not getting the best experience possible, I work directly with the Stamp team to make sure, okay, what features do we need to add to the integration? How can we enhance this and level this up? So that feedback is really key for us to know. Yeah, awesome. Cool, all right, well, that's the end of our hour. I think we're 30 minutes, not our hour, half an hour. But we've ran through all of the questions that came up. If you think of anything afterwards, feel free to shoot them our way. We are gonna follow up with the recording, with the resources that were shared today too, so that you didn't have to be frantically taking notes. You can watch it on your own time and take screenshots of some of those amazing graphs that you shared, Mia. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you everyone else for taking time out of your day to learn a little bit about this and hoping you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much, Tila. And thank you so much for everyone tuning in and listening today. It's been such a pleasure. Like Tila mentioned, if you have any questions, just reach out to us and we're happy to help. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye, everyone.